If you're a fan of Dr. David Brownstein, if you read Dr. McCullough, if you're interested in thyroid health or just alternative medicine in general, uh, you may have looked into iodine. Iodine is a supplement I think is woefully underappreciated. It's so, so important and gets almost no press. In fact, some people are, a lot of people are afraid of it. Um, in this video, one is I want to encourage you, if you haven't looked into it, to look into the benefits of iodine, but I just wanted to give you the one little caveat. Iodine in certain amounts can cause a situation where it produces um, hydrogen peroxide in certain cells, which can cause damage. Um, that can happen most particularly in, in the rare instance that you happen to have, well, first of all, let me show you what I have. So when I'm talking about iodine, I'm not talking about the iodine that you get from salt, which is in small, small amounts. I'm not talking about the iodine that you get in uh, most store-bought supplements. The American RDA for iodine is in micrograms, which is a very, very small amount. In Japan, they get um, iodine in milligram amounts. They get it thousands of times more, and we tend to think of them as having, uh, we want to shoot for their levels of health uh, when it comes to cancer rates, when it comes to uh, women's health. Um, so these are the these are the benefits of iodine that um, I want you to investigate on your own. Uh, so you can get those amounts in supplements such as pills. You can get them uh, in drops. Those are both available through. You can find them on my website. You can find them on Amazon. Um, and the important thing is to make sure that you are getting enough selenium. So I thought I didn't. I was going to say selenium. I don't have selenium here because you can get it from your diet. You can get this from Brazil nuts is the the number one known source. But you can get it from a lot of other sources. I'll put that also in the article uh, below. Um, but I actually do have uh, selenium in one of my supplements. This is uh, Clearway Cofactors by Quicksilver Scientific. You can I mentioned that in my um, Mercury Detox video. Um, the reason I, I'm glad I actually have this is because it shows that we have selenium here in its activated form, which is selenomethionine. Um, if you get a regular supplement from the grocery store, from the discount store, you're often going to see selenium in some other form, um, which can present a problem. It can be not bioavailable. So, Selenium, if you're going to get it, get it from foods. Make sure you're getting at least uh, 100 micrograms. Or you can go up to 400 micrograms. Uh, don't go too high. It can be toxic. Um, and if you're getting it from a supplement, you want to get it in the form of selenomethionine. And if you are taking iodine, if you, if you want to get the benefits of iodine, make sure that you are at least somewhere in your life, whether from supplement or diet, getting selenium to, to balance out the very small potential harmful effects of too much iodine.